Everything's more modern here. This used to be Ice Station Haygood, which was just a little concrete open turret that you'd freeze your butt off during like a January or February guard duty. Now it's all ice and closed. How cool is that? Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Sub. And where are we? We are in Charleston, South Carolina. Technically, James Island County Park. Mm -hmm. And I see on the forums all the time people are asking, hey, where's the best place to stay when coming to Charleston? And this is super nice. I think by far this is the place you want to stay if mm -hmm. you can get in. It's pretty yes. difficult to get in. It is. It's very popular. This week has been quite uh, busy. Yes. And the reason we're here is? We are going to his reunion. Yes, it's my 35th Citadel reunion. So we'll give you... A glimpse of the Citadel. Mm -hmm. Not so much Charleston downtown, but definitely yeah. El Cid. And the reunion festivities. So behind me is the original Citadel here in downtown Charleston. They moved to the campus on the Ashley River in 1922. And this has become an embassy suite for now. So. Yeah, but at least it's still here. And it's pink. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't keep the color motif. So when was this built? This old Citadel? What are, you, what are you, some upperclassmen quizzing me? I don't know. The Citadel was established in 1842. So maybe this was built around 1842. That's what we're going with. We're going to go with that. All right. Okay, because Cindy was harassing me about my knob knowledge, I had to come back and actually look to see when this was built. And it was built in 1822 as an armory, but the Citadel cadets moved into it in 1842 until they left in 1922. So that's the uh, history of the building here. Yep. So, yeah, it's a little older than you think. Yep. Okay, we're ready to get this reunion weekend off the ground. Yeah. And we are here where? We are at Big John's, right? Yeah, and if you've been to the Citadel, you've been to Big John's Tavern. So uh, this place is really a dive. It's a little different down yeah, It's a little right? different. We had tuna poke bowls. Yeah, it's Big John's. Fancy. Yeah. Instead of PBR and mm -hmm. stuff. So, but it's uh, the food here was absolutely Excellent. delicious. The uh, decor is still wonderful, and um, yeah, great way to start the uh, reunion weekend. Good. All right, let's get it going. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, now marching onto the parade field are the 2024 Summerall Guards. Summerall. Left, 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 right, 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 left. The unique movements of the front and rear guides with their distinctive shake of pops may seem a little weird at first, but the more you get used to it, the more you like it, and I kind of like it. This was where I spent my college year. Well, not really here, because this barracks is brand new. They tore mm -hmm. the one down that I was at because um, they needed things like air conditioning. We yeah. had no air conditioning back in the day. Um, and they needed to kind of make things ready for the females to come in. So um, it's a lot different, but it's good to see that they still have the, uh, my company was H, better known as Hotel Hell. Mm -hmm. And they still have the sheets that are up there for the uh, upperclassmen to check out. And the uh, traditional checkerboard. Yep. And it, one of the things that I remember is that when we unfurled our flag my freshman year, the freshmen make these flags, we spelt welcome wrong. <laughs> it was weakum. We oh, no. left out the L. Whoops. We were beaten for the next couple of weeks after that, yep. but nevertheless, it looks like they've kicked up their notches a yep. couple points here for the, uh, for the banner. And so we're going to go ahead and check things out, see if we can't find a cadet room or something. Mm -hmm. All right. We're here in one of the cadet rooms. He's a freshman here at the Citadel. His dad was actually my cadre corporal. So um, that's pretty cool. Actually, his dad was just outside the frame of this picture. You could still hear him say, Collins, go ahead and smile. Just once, just once, a little smirk. Go ahead and smile. See what happens, just, just see what happens, smile. Thus, the unflattering college photo ID. But it's a pretty, very similar to where I was. You know, the beds are pretty neat. They got two here, two bunks. Yeah. 
Um, some desks. Some desks. They do have air conditioning here. They don't have a radiator, but pretty. I'd say pretty similar. This here is um, doubles as a bathroom <laughs> when you don't want to go outside. So um, depending on your gender, I think. Yeah, but you can see the uniforms, the full press. What they call a full press and a half press. And yeah, super nice. Super nice. All right, let's go check out some other stuff. And there it is, a nice little uh, hotel hell with all the. Uh, seniors so of course the stairwells was always one of the most frightening places to be because you had to ask permission to come up the stairs you had to know the names of all the upperclassmen which when you first get here you don't always know and one of the other cool feature is that they paint the names of the seniors out on the steps so each senior has their own step and if you don't like the individual senior during the course of the day you come and you kick it all out mess up his name and then you have to get him repainted so it's kind of like a factor of how much you're hated by how many times your name gets kicked out so you like that yeah you, you want to be you want to get kicked out right yeah well you don't really want to get kicked out oh okay I, like, I do like whenever they have an h they put it in red which is pretty cool yep awesome and the other company with respect was what was known as stalag echo and i'm glad to see they still have pain and pride so uh yeah stalag echo hotel hell they always competed against each other we're walking across the parade deck and it's funny Privileges are handed out at the Citadel based upon your class, and only seniors are allowed to walk across the parade deck. And it still freaks me out, like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> like, is somebody gonna find out that I'm walking across the parade deck and drop and make me give them 20? So, uh, yeah. but yeah, now as an alumni, I own the place. <laughs> okay, of course, freshmen on the Avenue of Remembrance are not allowed to walk in the street. They have to walk in the gutter. What about as the sidewalk? As Cynthia is simulating. No, sidewalks are for upperclassmen. Oh, all right. There it is, simulating a knob. Knob Cindy. So, of course, the Citadel Ring is one of the most important parts of a Citadel graduate. Citadel, we all, every freshman knows exactly how many days to the seniors get their ring and is epitomized by the opening of the Lords of Discipline by Pat Conroy when he said, I wear the ring. And every year they have, uh, usually the senior class has their numbers. Every Citadel ring is exactly identical to every other ring to bring that bond together with the exception of the class year. Mm -hmm. And normally they have the uh, senior class, so you'd have a 24 here. But for the homecoming weekend, they put the uh, 50th anniversary class. So yep. class of 73 celebrating theirs. Mm -hmm. I've got 15 more years. Yep. We'll have an 88 on that thing. Woo! -hoo! Yep. alumni who have given their lives in defense of our freedoms and you can see the most recent the global war on terror and some of the folks who gave their lives This is the courtyard here at Capers Hall. <laughs> I can't believe how beautiful this is, what they've done. Hey, we had nothing like this. All right, well, we've got our place for the uh, parade, and out is coming the uh, regimental band and the regimental pipe band. Modern day ceremonies are conducted to render honors, preserve tradition, and foster its reality. Parades were originally the working formation of the army, which began and ended each day. We missed the earlier drama where they had to start the Jeep. The Jeep wasn't starting, but they got it started. So now the General Walters will forward. <laughs> Along with the CAA, Citadel Alumni Association, outgoing president, for the review. And they're going to pick up the regimental commander on the way.
Yeah. All right, we got Hotel Hella coming through here. My company. Good, good guys. You good? And there's the class of 73. Taking it up, passing in review. <laughs> All right, see, so what was your impression of the parade? Oh, it was really nice. I thought it was good. How did hotel company look? Were they in step? They were in step. I think um, Golf and Victor Company had some problems with the flag, though. Yeah, that's unacceptable. As a former guide on bearer, you made sure your flag was deployed. So what's the etiquette there? He didn't see you, you twist it and roll it until it undeploys okay. itself. All right, because they were having some issues. Yeah, I saw that. That was highly unacceptable. <laughs> so, um, But the hotel guy looked good. Hotel company looked good. Yep. And now I think it's off to some tailgating here yep, shortly. Yeah, sounds like a fun time. So this is a brand new business school, Baston Hall, and I think we're going to try to see if we can't get into it and check it out. Yep. This facility is just amazing. <laughs> Look how beautiful. I don't know what they use this for. Just a wonderful facility. All right, now that's a cool tailgate setup right there. A fire truck. Okay, so, you, so what is it time for now? It's 11.30, it is time to tailgate before the football game. Yeah, looks like a pretty good showing here. I don't, it's been a long time since I've tailgated, probably since my fifth, fifth reunion. So mm -hmm. uh, we've got the subs or the love truck all set up for tailgating. Yep. Let's go ahead and hit it. Let's do it. Okay, so you've got your outdoor kitchen going. What are you preparing here? We're doing sausage with peppers and onions and on a sub roll. So it should be pretty good. It sounds pretty good. Yeah. Tailgating out of a tailgate. Tailgating out of a tailgate, yep. We got all the supplies. We've got our little Weber going. Fortunately, nobody parked. someone left a space for us. Yeah, nobody parked next to us, so we're like, hey, we'll take it. So, should be good times. And we're not too far from the stadium. All right, let's get this tailgating officially underway. Here we go. All right. And we should be all yeah, set. There we go. Hey, I think we're ready for the second turn. We are. Oh yeah, dog, look at them. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh no, it's oh, squished. No. <laughs> Alright, we about ready? They're nice and toasted. Those should be ready. We do five minutes per side on cooked sausage. Yep, and we flip the vegetables as the same yep. time. So let's uh, plate these up. This is real tailgating here, folks. Yeah, it's like being in a Patriots game or something. Yeah. See how those peppers and onions turned out. I'm predicting they turned out well. <laughs> oh yeah, dog. Those Perfection. Look, those look great. All right, we're just gonna serve up. Let's have lunch. Let's have lunch. We got our butts kicked. Yeah, we did. It was a fun game, though. Yeah, it was all right. You know, good flyover with P38s. Yep. Okay, that's totally weak. They gave overnights to the entire Corps of Cadets. Even the knobs got overnights. Right. Did you ever have that happen to you? I cannot recall as a knob ever getting an overnight. I cannot recall that. It might have happened, but certainly not when we got the crap beat out of us. <laughs> all right. Maybe on Parents' Day, I think we might have gotten an overnight. Well, Maybe the homecoming, so. We like to keep our videos to under 20 minutes, but we had some awesome footage that we wanted to share. It was a very nice barbecue place in downtown Charleston that reminded us of another place that we had been to. So we will drop shorts on that later on in the week.
So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, click the subscribe. And comment below if you've been to Charleston and what you like best. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.